Hey guys, how you doing? It's the Honeydew Carpenter. I am in my shop tonight and tonight we are going to be working on the heat riser that goes in Julie's rocket mass heater. Um, I've already poured it. It's all cured out. I even put it on the unit and slow cooked it a little bit with some charcoal and a small fire just to make sure it was completely cured out. And now we're going to treat it with water glass and I've kind of devised some system, we'll see if it works, um, to try and saturate this thing with water glass or sodium silicate. Okay guys, what I've got here is Julie's heat riser. Now, if you haven't watched the video on me pouring this aircrete in this heat riser, I would suggest check in the right hand corner above and, and watch that. There's a lot of good information in it. But it's all cured out. I even heat cured it. I ran it on the stove for a little bit and put some heat through it to make sure there's no moisture in it. I did that for a reason. I This is a test block of what it looks like. The aircrete that's in there. It's a perlite and aircrete mixture. So I had to come up with an idea on how to pour water glass all around it so there, there's just a little bit of pressure at least from gravity that would just so it could just suck it in and saturate the whole thing on the inside um, and I think I've solved that dilemma now I went in my wife's craft stuff and got this putty all she ever did with it was stick glowing stars on the kids ceiling anyway so this is just that sticky putty stuff that you can buy at any craft store. But just so you know, you could probably use uh, a modeling clay or anything for what I'm about to do here. So, um, I have this piece of three inch pipe. This is gray pipe. You could use black or PVC, it doesn't matter. It's a three inch, so the outside diameter is three and a half. The inside diameter of the heat riser is four inches so that's just going to leave a quarter inch around and this is the soap batch of sodium silicate that I made now guys this stuff to have a whole gallon of it would probably cost you about a hundred bucks to buy this stuff if you haven't watched my video on how to make it I would go up in the right hand corner and watch that video I wanted to find a bucket that was about the right size um, to fit around this but had a taper so it would jam in and fit tight. And so our choices today are frozen or my kids, uh, are you serious? Uh, that's not me. Serious? Yeah. <laughs> Shut your phone off. <laughs> but. Uh, or a ghost. I think I'll use the ghost because it's clear and I can kind of see through it a little bit. So we have our end. With that, I'm just going to stick it right in the center of the bucket. So I'm just going to drop my heat riser over the top until it stops. We're gonna make sure that's good and sealed, that's good and sealed, and there we go. I'm just gonna push down on the putty until I can tell it's sealed against the edge of the bucket. Stay good. 
we gonna have to turn this thing over and do the other side? I have it still dripping. I need uh, the light from your camera, sweetie, so I can tell how far up it made it as it saturated in. Ended off this four inch block, made it a little bit smaller, and I'm going to go down with it and down with it as I pour the water glass in, and it'll let it soak into the side of the um, heat riser. Great idea. Um, I got to admit, Mrs. Honeydew came up with it. I just put a little bit of putty around that. Now I'm going to, to seal it, I'm going to take this piece of garbage bag plastic and boom. Run it down. This was such a good idea, babe. The plastic, I mean. Holy cow, this works so good, babe. I mean the plastic part. I wish I had a light to watch it go down. using it and I didn't use a string I used a dowel I mean come on now let's be real <laughs> I'm coating the inside with uh, Portland cement rub it smooth with Portland cement. Hey guys, I hope you liked that. It did not go how I thought it was going to go, but well, it all ended up working. We got the thing treated. Um, just make sure after, if you do saturate a piece of aircrete with water glass that you let it completely drain out and sit for a couple days before you go ahead and fire that thing. So that being said, I hope you like what we're doing here. Check out our Etsy store if you want to know how to obtain or just build for yourself one of those small scale foam generation devices that I call a foam mate that I came up with. You can check that out up there. Dude like subscribe oh okay yeah <laughs> hey guys i hope you like what we're doing uh just make sure you like subscribe and be sure and click the bell at the bottom and so you can get notifications thanks